Hey guys, Justin here with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're installing our chainsaw mount on this rear storage rack. We actually have two different mounting options. First, we're gonna focus on our It Fits mount style, and then we've got a KRX outside that we're gonna to install to the roll bar mount. So if you'd like to see that video, you can just skip ahead to the time listed on the corner of the screen. Otherwise, let's get started. Your chainsaw mount is gonna come partially pre-assembled. You can tell that this is the It Fits style bracket because of our signature It Fits shape here. So we'll start off by attaching this bracket to the machine. Just like all of our other It Fit brackets, it fits this four hole pattern. I'm gonna get these hand started and then I'm gonna tighten these down in place. Next, we're gonna attach the main body to the It Fits bracket. Um, to do that, you're gonna to have to dis do a little bit of a disassembly here um, to reach all three of those holes. So I'm gonna take the knobs off. And that's gonna give me access to our adjustment plate. So there's lots of different options and heights where you can put this. So I'll leave that up to you, but I'll just show you. We're gonna start with the center hole. Put the center one in first and just get that one started. So as you can see, I've got this center flat head bolt placed in first like I talked about. It's nice because that leaves that um, to rotate and you can decide where you want it. So what I'm gonna do is set it up here in place, just kind of dry fit it um, so that I can determine, you know, what angle do I want this thing attached. So there's all sorts of different options. Um, for this case, we're just gonna mount it straight up. So now that I've decided I wanna mount this thing straight up, I'm gonna take my other two flathead bolts and get those started in the holes. Then you can hold those in place and get those nuts started. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and suck those down tight. So to tighten those flathead bolts down, we use the 532nd Allen wrench, and you snug that down just to where these, the flatheads are, are flat with the plastic. After that, we'll set it in place. Choose which height we'd like it at. and start those bolts. Typically, I like to start the lower part or the lower bolts so that it allows this to pivot forward. That just makes it a little bit easier to access these bolts as you go to tighten them down. Now that we've got the lower bolts mounted, we'll rotate that back up and get the uppermost bolts. and we'll go ahead and tighten those down all the way. Now we can put our bar clamping bracket back in place. So now your bracket's ready for the saw. Set the saw in place, clamp your bar mounting knobs. Just wanna make sure that your knobs line up horizontally so that you can fit the locking bracket. That'll keep them from coming loose while you're on the trail. Now that your bar's clamped down tight for extra security, you can add your bungee strap. As you can see, we've got our KRX rolled in now, and we're gonna show you how to put it on the bar. In this case, for this KRX, we're gonna use the inch and three quarter size bracket. So we already kind of dry fit the chainsaw itself and decided roughly where we want the bracket to go. So we will put that in place and start our flange nuts.
Now we'll grab our 7 16ths and 3 8 ratchets and tighten that down. So just snug them down nice and tight. Just like the other bracket, we're gonna mount that center bolt first, allowing that to pivot around the center. We'll dry fit this in place to get a good idea of the angle, aligning the holes to get the angle we want. And you can put one of those bolts in place to hold that position. At that point, we'll take it back to the bench and tighten down the bolts before we put it back on the machine. Now that we've got that tightened down with our 532nd Allen, we'll set those in place and put our bolts in. Now we're ready for the chainsaw. Install the the bar knobs. Install the knob clamp and pin. In this configuration, I definitely recommend using the bungee strap. That concludes the install of our chainsaw mount. Don't forget to head over to RazorbackOffRoad.com to check out our other accessories, as well as check out our YouTube channel, like and subscribe so you can stay up to speed with all of our cool new products coming out. And as always, hope to see you out on the trail.